At the entrance of the great temple of Jerusalem were two massive golden doors, the doors to the holy place, called also the doors to the Hekel. In the writings of the rabbis, there's an amazing sign concerning them that has everything to do with your faith, our faith, and you wouldn't believe it's there. In the Book of Mysteries, in the mystery called The Secret of Yoma, the teacher takes the disciple into a chamber called the Chamber of Books, where there's a massive room with towering bookcases filled with volumes of mostly old-looking books, and he takes one of them from the shelves, a large reddish volume. Ah, it's right here. Here it is. I want to show you something. In the Temple of Jerusalem, there were two major barriers that separated man from God the unholy from the holy. The first one was the doors to the temple that separated the outside from the holy place. And the second, deep inside, was the veil that separated the holy of holies from the presence of God. When Messiah died, the veil that separated the holy of holies was rent in two. What does that mean? That separated men from God. Yes. And it was torn in half? Yes. God must have been making a statement. Yes. The statement is, there is no longer a barrier between you and I. These things represented the barrier between God and man, the barrier between God and us, the most holy and us, outside sinners. But it's recorded in the New Testament that at the time of Messiah's death, the parachet, the great veil of the Holy of Holies, was torn in two. What would that mean? It meant that the barrier between man and God was removed, totally. But there was another barrier there. It was those, those big golden doors of the temple. Could they have been opened? Could there be another sign that this happened? And the answer is yes. And the amazing thing is it's the most amazing witness because it comes not from the New Testament, it comes from the rabbis in the Talmud in a tractate called Yoma 39. It's an amazing thing. It says this, from the writings of the rabbis, the Talmud, it contains this thing. They record that before the temple was destroyed, in AD 70, a strange thing took place in the temple. That second barrier, the golden doors of the temple, began, according to the rabbis, it's there, began to open by themselves. They started just opening supernaturally by themselves. When did they start doing that? The rabbis actually give the date. It says it began to happen about 40 years before the destruction of the temple. Well, the temple was destroyed in 70 AD. So what happens if you take away 70 AD minus 40 years? Where does it go to? It goes to just about 30 AD, the same time that Messiah, that Rabbi Yeshua, Jesus, just happened to die on the cross as the final atonement to remove the barrier between us and God. Now, this has never happened in history, in the history of the world. It has never happened so powerfully. That's something that so testifies to a fact by a hostile witness, but it's there in the rabbis. My God, can you believe, in the, rab in the writings, it identifies the year when a cosmic change took place and the doors were open to us and God when Messiah died. Concerning this, it's amazing, and thus, that at this time, through the death of Messiah, truly your sins are wiped away. The way to God is opened up. And it, this, if you don't believe it because Christians are saying it, the church, believe it because even the rabbis who shouldn't be saying it are bearing witness that it happened by the power of Messiah. The way has been opened up. The way to you and the Holy One. There is no separation between you and God. Every barrier has been removed once and for all. The barrier of sin, of hate, of, of judgment is gone. Even the rabbis bear witness to it. I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna shock you and you're probably gonna get real upset, but hang on. God does not have mercy on you. 